Dulwich Hamlet women kick off their 2023-2024 season with a tough away day at Dartford this afternoon. A ground they did win on last season. The Hamlet come into the game with four debutants in their side. Jodie Lodge, Tia Sell, Morgan Sell and Shakira Capro roberts all starting for the first time in competitive games for Ryan Dempsey's side. It was a great pre-season for the Hamlet as well with four wins and one draw from their six games. Dartford, always tough opponents with a victory at Champion Hill towards the end of last season. They've re retained most of their squad from last season. They have signed Chana Hines from Dulwich. She's not available today. So we're starting now working our way from the back with one of our new signing. Unfortunately, goes intercepted by Dartford. Dartford with a long ball trying to find number eight, which goes towards the penalty box, swings in, and Vaughan just on the side of the goal with a header. So Dulwich have lined up with Asia Harbour around playing wide of a front three. Now it's not her natural position. Ryan Dempsey was talking to him in the build up for the mm. game saying that Dartford's right hand side uh, is very strong and he wanted to double up with defenders on that side. Here's Nisha Diet in the centre circle as an offside here. But the uh, play is going to go on because it's a clever run through from midfield and it's a tame shot in the end. Dulwich waited for the offside flag to go up, but it's clever work. I think it's uh, Paris Smith who uh, ran through there. They go short to Vaughan, back to McKeague with the cross in. And Saskari Frizzi comes out to collect, but spills the ball and the Dartford player pounce on it. And it's 1-0 for Dartford. Yeah, Georgie Davis poking that home. She just stretched a bit, didn't she, Sass? And uh, reacting quickest was Davis. 12-minute goal for the hostesses. Davis scores Dartford's first of the new season, the defender. Low cross. Nice flick on as well in the penalty area. Vaughan. The shot comes in. Good save by Reese Priestley. Rebound comes to Diet. 2-0. No offside. Dulles looked across at the assistant. Gemma Shepard's shot was parried away brilliantly by Reese Priestley. But turning it home was Nisha Deer. Two goals in three minutes for the darts. Lily Price with a free kick. Swings the ball into the penalty box. That was a good ball Darfur. in that. Shot from Cafro Roberts, which uh, she tried to curl goals and get enough bend on it. A few teams like that in this division. We have our moments, but I wouldn't put us in that category. Long before by Gaul. It's raking ball as well. So can Sailor get the first she can. Keeper's not got there. Lockett shoots. And it's a goal kick. Now the game's on the uh, going around the grounds today. Aylesford against Salt Dean. Fulham against Ashford, who are newly promoted. Sutton against Millwall. Aylesford uh, were reprieved from relegation in the last season. It's another three ball for Shawnee Griffiths. Onto our left foot, edge of the box. Curls it goalwards. And Saskia is pretty tips it away for a corner. May well have been going wide, but Sask didn't want to let that squirm past her. Barely played. Lily Price stands over the free kick from range. Long way out. I wonder if she'll have a shot, though. She does send it goalwards, and it's straight down the throat of Charlton. Doesn't drop those. Dartford now have bodies back. Come wide for Lodge. Unopposed. Have a look up. Sending across. Charlton struggling here. She's dropped on the goal line. Kappa Roberts was there. And Dartford clear their lines. Lovely ball from Morgan Sell to her twin sister. Tia Sell to Price. Opens up for the shot. And it's over the crossbar. Better from Dulwich. Much better, much better. Salt Dean winning at Aylesford as well. That's the only game. Not the only game on today, sorry. McKeague floats it in. It's around the back. It's straight at Reese Priestley from Woodhouse, and she dives on the uh, loose ball. Good goalkeeping that from Saskia Reese Priestley. It's been the story of the second half. Just haven't got our passing game going. You know, yeah. a lot of loose balls as Price goes long. McKee gets in the way of that importance. She did. Sailor, surely a push in the back by Woodhouse. Sailor goes on though. Threads a pass out for Mia Lockett. She's got two in the box. Cross is blocked by McKee. Lockett will go again. Chips it back to Cafro Roberts, who's just outside the area. She picks up possession. Good turn from Shakira against Reed, And then Kappa Roberts does well, sends it across, up in the air by Davis. Can Dulwich get to the second ball? It's going to spin. Lockett tries to get involved. McKeague nods it down. 
Roberts in the penalty area. On for Harbour Brown to shoot. And it's just off target. Better from Dulwich, though. The fight was there in that chance. Price sends in that free kick. It's, it's deep. And it's gone in. Lily Price has scored. And Dulwich have a goal. Charlton misjudged it in the fly. And she can only touch it into the back of the net. Dulwich are on the score sheet here. Lily Price with our first goal of the season. What a great, great goal. I don't know if she meant it. Charlton looked like she would uh, cover the ground. She realised she'd overstepped. And she was backpedalling, could only touch it into the back of the net. It comes for Searle. Long ball forward. It's again away by Davis. Second ball should be won by Rebecca May. It is. Flicks off Smith. He breaks down for Dulwich. Smith chips it forward. And Griffiths might be in here. Reed's pretty thought about coming. Griffiths then tries to chip her. And it's wider than near post. And... Dulwich breathe a sigh of relief. That should really have been finished by Griffiths. Price, great looking cross. Oh, it's straight at the keeper. It was Harbour Brown flying in. And she's headed it straight at Charlton. Big chance for Dulwich late on. Hammered away though by Woodgates with purchase that clearance. I think the other player to golf was, uh, was Gemma Shepherd. Oh, Give the ball is still on. Shirley Griffin now. Into McKeague. Well done by Lodge. Shot comes in though from Griffiths. Dulwich survive. Price can't quite keep it under her control. It drops for Smith to strike goalwards and claimed by Reed Priestley. Fairly comfortable height for her. Yeah. And she strides down the right hand side. Curls on forward. It comes off Jowl to Griffiths. And Jowl deflects that through to Reed Priestley. That's the full-time whistle, and it's an opening day defeat for Dulwich Hamlet this afternoon. Both goals coming in the space of three minutes in the first half. In the 12th minute, a uh, cross from Megan McKeague was spilled by Rhys Priestley with uh, Davis tapping home the rebound. And two minutes later, Sass made an unbelievable save to deny Gemma Shepherd, but Nisha Deer was on hand to tap home the rebound. And from there, it was an uphill battle. We did get one back in the second half, Lily Price uh, sending a free kick over the head of Jay Charlton, but uh, we have to be puffed. We couldn't get that second goal. Full-time scorer at Princess Park on the opening day of the season is Dartford 2, Dulwich Hamlet 1.